So I have three practices um, and then I'll, we'll open it up for questions. So one, I encourage you to take an intention pause. This can be like 15, 30 seconds before going into a meeting. Help remind yourself of what your purpose is in that one moment. And then what are the actions that you need to take to align yourself? We're going from meeting to meeting that it's easy to fall back into bad habits. Are you the leader in the moment that needs to set the direction and be telling more? Or is it, are you there to help develop somebody else's capability, in which case asking more questions and allowing them time for learning is more effective? Second, pay attention to the quality of your questions. This is a funny looking animal. It's a wolf dress, dressed up as a sheep. Uh, more often than not, you'll be surprised if you start paying attention to this. When we think we are asking questions, we are actually advocating for our own idea. It's our ideas with a question mark on it. These are fake questions. Our ideas dressed up as questions, just like a wolf in sheep's clothing. So two things you can pay attention for, at least in the English language, were questions that start with what or how tend to be more likely these open-ended questions that you can ask to help someone else's learning that are not interjecting your own thinking. And then the third is to listen openly, not just with open ears, but looking with open eyes, having an open mind, not making assumptions, and an open heart as well. So really looking at the whole person and having compassion and empathy to who they are and where they are in their life as well. And to always remember that failure isn't failure if you can learn something from it, and that learning is never perfect and it's never complete. So out of today, I want you to set your own intention for what you'll practice to become a more people-centered leader as well.